Hello, I think today is the day and it's a good time to talk about my skin problems. I want to introduce you to Pita. I give them names now because they stay with me for a long time, so I just make friends with them. Now, if you are following me because you think I'm super mega beautiful, well, maybe you're gonna unfollow me now, but it's fine. I'm okay with that. Hey, hello, I am Miss Dawson, I'm 48 and I'm struggling with skin problems. Yeah, really. There are two main reasons I started this YouTube channel. One is obviously same as the 99% of probably 99% of channels is to be able to monetize it at some point. I haven't yet, by the way, but that's one of the reasons, not the main reason, but one of the reasons, because that's part of my reinvention. The second reason is, I've said before, and you'll hear me say this often, is just to help and to inspire and to motivate others because uh, as i have been doing in the last few years i've uh, youtube has been pivotal in my journey and has helped me uh, and motivated me and inspired me endlessly so i want to do the same and as i always say if this video little video from little me helps one single person, that's already worth it. So that, those are the main two reasons. I thought it would be a good idea to uh, introduce myself with no makeup whatsoever. I just had a shower, this is still wet, and talk about this because I think it's the time. And I think it's something that I really want to touch on. I have been struggling with my skin um, I just realized that it's been 10 years. It's ridiculous, but yes. And when I say struggling, I mean struggling. Look at that. Look at that. 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 Look at that. This is disgusting. Absolutely horrendous. Horrific. It's something that really, really upsets me, especially now since I started being a content creator, of course, it's my face in front of the camera. So this is a problem. What I was given was just antibiotic. So I went to the doctor and that was like, you know, acne. Uh, but yeah, but what is this? What is causing this acne? It could be hormonal. Yeah, it could, it could be. Could be this, could be that, they don't know. They told me, we don't know. I took that at that time. You know, uh, my level of awareness, my level of consciousness back then was really, really, really low. I only, I only know that today. <laughs> but you know, I just took the antibiotics. These antibiotics are uh, one that you take uh, for months. So it's not like this normal course of antibiotics that you take for three days or five days or 10 days. So this was more like a continuous uh, treatment. It says don't take for uh, more than six months. I think it is. I took it for seven years on and off, of course, because otherwise I would probably be dead by now. <laughs> I'm probably dead actually, because apparently my blood pressure is really low. <laughs> I went the other day to, to the nurse and she had to take it four times. She couldn't believe that my blood pressure was that low. I don't think it was that low, but yeah, I might be dead and I don't know it. I thought they were working because I would have this uh, breakout and uh, very painful, ugly and painful and itchy. And then it would ease off and then dry it eventually and then, you know, go away. So I thought it was the antibiotics doing the job, their job. But it wasn't like that because now I know, because now I've been able to try uh, 
the process, let's say, without antibiotics. From I, I haven't um, got the antibiotics for over two years now, I think, or th maybe three. Um, so the process is the same. So you have a breakout, it's painful, it's itchy, uh, and then oh, yeah, eventually it goes away. So basically the same process without the antibiotics. So what were the antibiotics doing to me? apart from intoxicating me, <laughs> you know? Mm, that's very disappointing, that's very... Uh, I have learned that. I'm not anti-antibiotics, but then, you know, only if it's really, really needed. But not for something like this, where I have been uh, seeing a nutritionist for the, last, uh, for the last few months, and a simple change in the diet, looking at your gut, health i didn't know that now i know now i know thanks to youtube you know in 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 a way because there's lots of uh, information there from doctors not from me i'm not a doctor i'm not giving any medical advice here i'm just talking about my experience and i just found out that is your gut which is another brain that we have um that is making these uh, things happen and so i stopped uh, eating gluten and dairy and then i switched to a healthier way of eating and i not only lost weight without even uh, realizing the skin improved because although it doesn't seem like that but it has improved so what was clusters and horrible it's now just you know these kind of things. I'm noticing uh, that it's improving, but it's not obviously healed yet. I had a test done. Uh, it's called uh, SIBO, S-I-B-O. It's a condition that apparently half of the population had. <laughs> so anyway, I tested positive for that and I'm just treating it with uh, herbs. Yes, uh, I've been told that this could be treat, uh, treated with antibiotic, but as I said earlier, I'm not doing that anymore unless it's completely necessary. So for now, I'm doing supplements, herbal supplements to help with that, and we'll see the progress. And this is what I'm working on at the moment. So that's the thing, I'm here talking about my struggles with my skin problems, not because I've gone over them, but because I am uh, battling <laughs> against them. I am confident that it will get sorted out eventually, because, you know, at the same time I'm figuring myself out, I am reinventing myself, I am trying to find my true self, my path, my mission, my purpose. I'm on it. I'm on it. And I'm sure it'll be all right. But it hasn't been easy to be, to be here and to get here. It's been years. So if I can spare someone years of useless treatments or things, that'll be worth it. You know, and there are so many people with skin problems um, nowadays that it is worth mentioning that when you have something like this, could be rosacea as well, that's another condition, or psoriasis, or any other skin problems. Just look beyond, you know? There's something wrong somewhere inside of you, of course, not outside. And then it just needs to be found. Basically for me, it's like something is out of balance. When there is a problem like this, when there is a physical problem, something is out of balance anyway i'm gonna link uh, here below um, a few of the videos i was talking about some uh, videos that are really 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 helpful lots of problems come from our gut health um, which isn't great can't be great with the food we eat and um, everything else but it's important to raise awareness about this and do something about it so we can start as always uh, with ourselves 
food we eat, the activity, physical activity we, we do, our thoughts, of course, always, always important. Everything is important. And it's all been like um, separated, segregated. Our body is just all linked. It's just a system. It's, there's no way but the holistic uh, approach and the integral um, approach to look at, at health. And I want you to know as well. I want you to research, to do your own research. Don't assume things are the way they are because they've always been like that. We, we now know things that we didn't know before uh, in, terms of, in terms of health, of course, and this is always evolving. Don't forget that uh, the pharmaceutical companies are there um, and they want what they want. It's time to change that. It's time to change everything. But, you know, in this case, the topic is <laughs> health. So it's time to change that. It's time to raise our awareness and our consciousness so we can actually act um, intentionally with everything. I hope that's been somehow helpful for you. If you are uh, struggling as well, I would like to hear your stories. And I mean, I can tell a lot more about my story, of course. I didn't want to make this very long. Actually, make it known that, you know, that I'm going through that because uh, it can be helpful for others. And that's all. Now, say goodbye to Peter. Bye, Peter. Hopefully next time he won't be there. He will have gone with uh, to follow his path and leave me alone. <laughs> and hopefully there'll be no more. I always say that. I've got a few as well here. Mm. These are fine, but this is absolutely a volcano. Be healthy, be healthy, be healthy. Eat well, exercise, take the sun and be positive. Try to be positive. Uh, learn to control your mind. Don't let your mind to control you. You are the master. So you need to control your mind and your thoughts. And that is basically it. Easy.